Well, if you're making plans for Memorial Day weekend, uh, think ahead and plan for laughs. Hannah Burner is coming to the win on the 26th of this month, guys. She's hilarious. You're going to want to meet her. Uh, we're checking in with her this morning from New York City. Hannah, how you doing? I am so excited to get a tan in Vegas this summer. Yes! Oh, melt. oh my God, <laughs> we're so excited. Listen, the wind is so thrilled to have you here. Uh, do you sit out by a pool? Are you a sunbather or how do you get your tan on? I, I wanna be in the pool. I wanna, I'm, I'm swimming. I'm racing random people. I'm doing handstands. I'm asking people to rate my handstands. I'm I'm from Brooklyn, New York, so whenever I see a pool, I think it's like the coolest thing ever. Um, <laughs> and I'm so excited to be in Vegas because I always thought it would be like um, a bachelorette that I didn't really want to be at, <gasps> but instead it's the Wynn Theater. So I'm like, it's a dream come true. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. Man, it sounds like you have great pool etiquette. You know, you're probably one of those people that plays with the kids, even though you got a cocktail in your hand, you know? Oh yeah, I'm playing, like I'm stealing the, the football they're throwing around, I'm playing um, Marco Polo, I'm cheating. I get way too invested in it. But I think Vegas, like you can't not have fun when you're in Vegas. And <laughs> I just think I expected it to be a less classy thing that I was going for, but the win, I don't even think the win would let me in if I wasn't playing comedy at the theater. <laughs> <laughs> the win, you know what? They do they have, like, they have pretty high standards there. Oh my gosh, for sure. You got to check out <laughs> Hannah. There's this restaurant in the wind that's just killing it. It's called Delilah. And it's basically like walking into a 1920s nightclub. Now I know you have plenty of things like that in New York City where you're at, but uh, do you like that vibe? Do you like kind of doing a retro thing or kind of going back in time to a speakeasy? Oh my God, speakeasies are the coolest. And I really, I feel like when you're in Vegas, you just, you feel like you're in another world. It doesn't even feel like I'm going to a different state. It's like a different planet. And you really, I think I'm gonna bring my mom too. Yes! <laughs> and I think we're just gonna have like girls weekend and go off because it's also Memorial Day weekend. So it's like really the launch of summer. And where can you start it better than like the most fun place in the world? I just have to make sure I don't drink too much before the show. Oh my God, that literally, <laughs> that is the key to success in this town. I kid you not. Go with, go with water, True. okay? Go with a, a, a nice, you know. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Exactly. I mean, so many people, and there's probably people in their hotels watching right now, Hannah, that last night they're like, oh my God, it was my first night here. Why did I do that? Um, so yeah, you got to pace yourself for sure. Listen, you're going to be on stage yep. at the win. Um, so many people are catching on to how hilarious you are. I want to give you a big shout out because you recently were named uh, Just for Laughs New Face of Comedy. This is an amazing kind of recognition of your talent right now. How did that Thank recognition you. feel? I mean, it's funny because comedy, it's hard to get the industry to ever you know, notice you because there's so many incredible comedians. I really think that TikTok and the internet has helped me kind of express myself in so many ways because it's hard for a girl to just be like at the clubs all the time with like in a male dominated space and feel like she could take up space. So I think it's a really exciting time for women in comedy to create content of all kinds and for have, for have the stand up industry to like accept you and just grow from there and you know just for laughs new faces was in montreal and it was like an amazing time i met all these cool comedians that i look up to and it's playing at the win where like sebastian mescalco is gonna be is a dream come true and i just have to not have um any imposter syndrome no definitely not come on Listen, I know you must have a pretty tough core because I've been to a lot of the comedy clubs. I used to go to the Laugh Factory all the time in LA and it's yep. it's a dude fest. I mean, let's just be honest. Um, but you know, some of the women that I idolize most uh, right now in the public space are actually female comedians. I mean, you have some great women who are a couple decades ahead of you who are just like paving the way for being authentic, don't you think? Oh yeah, and I think Men are also realizing because so much of the internet like memes and content is created by women that the men are like holy crap Like we're so much funnier together I love when the boyfriends come and the girlfriends make fun of them and we're creating this space That's there's room for everyone and but the women who paved the way for me had to break down doors with cleavers and <laughs> 
And like, even like, I know Ali Wong is going to be at the yes. one and I look up to her so much. So they're just, they're, I think women are just so um, socially like intelligent and they see things that you don't always see. And they're so in touch with their emotions and it makes for some of the best observational comedy. I, I could not agree more. Uh, Chelsea Handler was just in town too. She's one of my like most favorite people on the planet. So Hannah Burner, it has been such a pleasure. So listen, I know you have a great website. People can find you online. They can get tickets to your show on the 26th mm -hmm. at the win. But also let's hear about how to follow you on TikTok. Cause I mean, you are just exploding now. <laughs> Oh my God, yeah, TikTok, go to Hannah Burner on TikTok. I post a lot of funny man on the street interviews with comedians, I post podcast clips, I post just crazy, you know, anything that comes to mind. And TikTok has been like my virtual TV show where I can just express myself and find other like-minded, silly people. I love it, and I love your spirit. You're so awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh my God, thank you, babe, you too. Bye, Hannah. Thank you for having me.